Hey there everyone, Jim here, back with you today with a spoiler light book blast episode on The Black Tongue Thief by Christopher Buellman, clearly designed and intended as just book one in the Black Tongue series, an epic fantasy tale with a main character who isn't quite epic. My opinion, nothing wrong with the tale. It's just the main character, Kinch? He's a bit of a doof. Okay, before I dig into my reactions to this tale, I want to ask you to consider liking this video down below and check out our whole channel where my son Zach and I have all sorts of long and short form content coming to you on fantasy, science fiction, and other nerdy stuff we enjoy talking about. If you like what you see, subscribe to our channel and look in the show notes for all the other ways you can connect with us. Discord, there's an invite down there. Social media, especially Twitter, you can find all of our links there down below, and even our Patreon, where you could choose to support us if you were so inclined. We say thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. Okay, so this book. In under five minutes, what can I say? The Black Tongue Thief came out in mid-2021, and some people, as I was sharing, I'm reading this, they described it as the best thing they read that year. Me? Now, I say that mostly for reaction. There's nothing wrong with this book. Buellman has created a fantasy world that's rich with backstory, complex culture, and all sorts of issues. A few of the unique aspects are the primary role women play in much of society, somewhat unique for fantasy tales. And that's driven here by because of a specific shortage of men. That's right, men are in short supply for reasons that would be too spoilery to share, but it sets up some unique aspects of the story that I appreciated, such as the kick-ass knight that becomes a primary companion of Kinch on his epic adventure, who's a woman. Rather a Game of Thrones Brienne of Tarth type, except more effective and with some magic. Which leads into the second unique aspect of the story, the magic. Magic takes multiple forms in this world. I always love when an author gets creative like that. But one of them is built into a tattoo-based system. Apparently certain magics can be invested into tattoos that can be used then as needed, whether the user happens to be particularly magical or not. This comes into play in a variety of interesting ways throughout the story. Speaking of tattoos, they aren't all about magic either. Kinch has a mark upon him that isn't magical at all. You see, he's a thief. But not just any Joe Schmuck thief. He's officially trained by the Taker's Guild. Unfortunately, he has student loans, and he's fallen behind on his payments, leading to a mark he now wears that gives people the right to smack him a good one and then have a drink on the Taker's Guild and Kinch just has to take it. It's weird. <laughs> Unique, but weird. Buellman has developed a plot that has depth and intricacies, and this book does truly just set up a tale that can go places if the series continues. It's actually rather well done. My issue is that while somewhat enjoying the story, I didn't really come to care that much. And I think that's mostly about Kinch, our protagonist. We get this tale through his point of view, and I don't know, I just didn't find him particularly compelling. It could just be me, but I'm left with a whatever feeling as the story wraps up. And with all the things on my TBR, I don't find myself waiting with bated breath for the next novel in the series to drop. So should you read this? It's worth giving a try. It is a well-written, creative story. It just doesn't go down as particularly awesome or grabbing for me, each to their own, right? If you read The Black Tongue Thief and you feel quite differently, fantastic. And if you've got great reasons why you feel that way, I'd love to hear about them. Drop comments here in the video down below or connect with us in some of those other ways that we show in the notes. And if you totally connect with my opinion, well, I'd love to hear that too. But that's all for now. We'll talk to you next time.